Well, today is National Taco Day, and here to celebrate uh, getting tips and building the perfect taco is Mauricio La Grata. Oh my God, much better. Eh, get we're, get, there. we're getting there. Get <laughs> there. Little by little. Maybe another 10 shows will have it done. Right, exactly. <laughs> Cantina Laredo in the house uh, from Mall of America. Thanks so much. We love when you come on. You're going to help us build the perfect taco. Tacos are fun because you can make them any way you want. Yeah, you can. What's a taco? Whatever you put inside a tortilla. Okay. So and let's start by it. grabbing a tortilla. Okay. I have corn and I have flour. I'll whatever. do flour. Okay, Whoa. Uh oh. We'll oh, do the flour. I'll do flour too. <laughs> you grab your tortilla. Okay. Then you perfect. Okay. Now go for whatever you want. What, do you, what would you like to put on your taco? What's this? That's gonna be uh, short. Uh, beef. Or? Yeah, it's beef. All right. But a little bit of that. Okay. Now in Mexico. That's a lot. Is that's that? okay. okay. That's, you need your meat. Okay. Then you This is how we would we'll do it in Mexico. Okay. A little we'll bit get some of this. Onion. Yeah, I'm gonna go a step behind. Oh, okay. A little bit of cilantro. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. And then a little <laughs> bit of salsa. There you go. There you go. Let's okay. Stop. And a little bit of lime. That will be a street taco, Mexico City style. Okay. There you go. That's the stuff. Now, here, we can put a lot of things. Okay. We can put chicken. We can put a little cheese. We can put a little guacamole, which guacamole is actually a salsa. It's not a, a dip mm. in Mexico. Is, are you a guacamole person? Oh, I love it all. Yeah. 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 Are you not so, a guac? No, I love guacamole. Guac. I love avocado. Oh, I love and you it. were saying avocado tacos, your favorite. Mm -hmm. Avocado? Corn tortilla, avocado, a little mm. salt. Delicious, divine. It sounds delicious. It's mm. healthy, it's gluten free. I was going to say, it's good for you too. <laughs> and, and, and again, it's very, very mm -hmm. easy going. Don't and mind me. Do you find that people, because uh, obviously there's no wrong way to do it, but do you find that Americans have certain preferences? Uh, Some people, if you invite them to your house and you say, we're going to have tacos, they expect the ground beef. Yeah. Uh, which is okay. I live in Minnesota. I'm used to it. But anything you put inside a tortilla is a taco. So. You know, like, and I enjoy a very good ground beef taco like nobody else. Right. I made those a couple of days ago. Why? Because I like them. Some people call them gringo tacos. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> but they're very good too. You know, there's nothing wrong with any kind of taco. That's the beauty about tacos. Any kind of taco that you personalize it and make them your own. It's so fresh. Gonna be good. I love all that. And do you ever do hard shell or is that kind of yes, a Yes, no -no? you have. Uh, those are hard shells. Yeah. Uh, in Mexico, we don't do as much hard shells right. as we do here. We have tostadas, which are going to be the flat version of it. Yes. Where you put a little beans, you put a little salsa, a little crema, a little fish and then a little lettuce and then you fill it up and it's this big and it breaks in your hand. And or but if, it's you, fun like if you just want to be authentic, you just come visit Cantina Laredo. Cantina See. Laredo, third floor next to Macy's, Mall of America. And you come visit Mauricio Legorreta. As for chef, that's See. a lot easier. See. <laughs> chef M. <laughs> chef M. Awesome. Thank you so much. We My appreciate pleasure. it. We'll be right back. <laughs> Somewhere for